Hey guys, it's me, Samara. And I'm Brandon. And welcome back to the Adventure Academy Science Fair. Today, Samara and I are gonna be exploring some of the science behind one of the greatest toys ever created, the Executive Ball Clacker Thing. Actually, Brandon, it does have a name. It's called Newton's Cradle, named for Sir Isaac Newton, one of the greatest scientists who ever lived. In addition to explaining gravity, Newton came up with lots of ideas about the way things move. Got it. So where do we begin? Well, the first step is to put some energy into the device. Without energy, you can't get anything moving. When you pull back on the ball, you are taking some of your energy and putting it into the ball. As long as you are holding the ball up, that energy is waiting to be used. We call that potential energy. Now when Brandon lets go of the ball, gravity pulls the ball down and the potential energy is turned into energy of motion, which is called kinetic energy. When the first ball crashes into the second ball, it passes most of its kinetic energy on. So the second ball then crashes into the third ball and so on until it reaches the last ball, which goes flying out. Since the energy gets passed on from one ball to the next, this is called transfer of energy. Now, in a perfect world, once you put energy in a Newton's cradle, the ball should keep banging back and forth forever. But the energy didn't just disappear. You see, as the balls move through the air and bang into each other, there is a lot of friction. Friction is the force that happens when things rub together as they move past each other. Whenever you have friction, some of the kinetic energy gets turned into heat energy. If you want to see how friction turns kinetic energy into heat energy, just try rubbing your hands together as fast as you can. So the energy is not lost. It just gets changed into a different type of energy. And there you have it. Some serious science at work and a very cool toy. See you next time. Bye!